Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to sear off the end of your ribbon. Um, most of the time we're used to seeing, you know, the lighter. But I have noticed that, you know, the ends of my ribbon tend to go black or just ruffle up and not look very nice. So today I'm going to show you how to use the woodworking tool. And the first thing you need to know is that when you're working with um, high temperatures, um, you need to have a metal ruler <clears throat> and you need to be working on metal. And what I have here is just a, uh, a cookie sheet turned upside down. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is um, how to sear off the end of a piece of ribbon. Make sure that your, um, your woodworking tool is heated up to the highest um, heat level that it'll go and <clears throat> use the point. This is the tip that you're going to use. If you're if you're getting it in the kit like um, I did, you're going to use this tip. And if you need um, written instructions at any time, go ahead and go to my website www.craftaproject.com and I have, you know, photos and written instructions there and even links as to where you can you can get um, the same tools that I'm using if you want to. Okay, so let's go ahead and sear off the end of this ribbon. You line up your ruler as to where you want to actually cut. Because you're going to be actually cutting it and searing it at the same time, use that point um, on the end of the tool and start off on the cookie sheet. It's a lot easier to drag it through if you start off on the metal. Okay, so I'm going to put my um, hot tool on the metal and I'm just going to slowly drag it through the ribbon and it should be free, but if I want to make sure that it's free, I'll do it a second time and there you have it. Actually, it may not be as heated up as it should be. That's one of the reasons you need to let your ribbon, your tool, um, heat up. So use that point, put it on the metal, and just drag it through. There we go. And then just move it aside. And, and your tool is going to smoke just a little bit. Okay, so then you just want to make sure that it's all clean because I like a clean cut on my ribbon. And you can hear that. That's the stiffness. It takes, it sears it all at once. So if you have a little um, loose thread hanging, you just touch it. Just touch it gently with the, uh, um, the tool and it'll come right off. But look at that. You've got a nice clean edge to work with. Um, and this ribbon, it's ready to go. So the other thing I want to show you quickly today is if you want to sear two pieces of ribbon together for whatever project you might have, um, line up your ribbon on top of one on top of the other and just do the same thing. Take your ruler, make sure you've got all the old pieces off of it, and uh, line them up the best that you can. If you want them centered, you know, try to center it up better than I'm doing here. Okay. So take your ruler and put it on top of both pieces of the ribbon. Take your tool and you're going to be using the tip. Start off on the metal of your cookie sheet or whatever piece of metal you have there and just slowly drag the heat tool through and you'll see that it continues to smoke. You can run it through a couple of different times to, s to make sure. And you can see they're separated there. Now, let me just put that down. Okay. So there you have your two pieces of ribbon. You can hear that they're, they're seared together. Um, in whatever project you use it in, but if you need to flatten that out then 
turn it over, take an iron. I'm just using this this tiny little craft iron. Um, and just put it right on top of your um, project or your ribbon. Do it on both sides. And it will flatten it out for you. And there you have it. Your two pieces of ribbon are connected. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and remember, visit my website if you need written instructions, www.craftaproject.com. See you next time.